Yeah, so I was 21 when I came to Christ. Um, my life at that point was, was pretty hectic. Um, you know, partying a ton, hanging out at bars, but I really didn't have a relationship with those guys. And so I, I interned at a, at a golf course in college and met these three guys that invited me to join a group. And the group was a little different to me because it exposed the relationship that those guys had with Christ on a deeper level. You know, I think there's a quote by Jim Rohn that says, you are the average of the five people you hang out with. And, and if those five to eight people are a part of your group and are Christian followers, then it only enhances your life. And I saw that when I joined a group for the first time, and it made me think that I never wanted to, to not be in something like this. I think within my professional sense, it's like, you know, I, I lay out a schedule. I say these are the metrics that I want to reach, but where am I asking God, you know, what do you want me to do? Or how can I do this and, and also be a light to you and your people? So I, I think, I know COVID's been big, but the question I've had to ask for myself after Aaron's message was, where am I waiting? What am I waiting for in my own life? And am I waiting with God or am I just waiting in my own power? Including God in my professional life is a real struggle. Yeah. Like I got up this morning and I was like, here's the list of things that I'm gonna get done today. Here's, here's what I'm gonna do. And never once did I stop, stop and think like, God, please bless me in these efforts. I would say our focus on in the group since the beginning of the year is just to build relationships. And that's how we've grown organically. So if there's anyone in the community that we're building relationships with, we see that they may not have a church family or they may be having issues in their personal life, we invite them to join the group. And that's helped me grow more intentional in my relationship with Christ as well, because I know that any given week, there's going to be a new person that comes to our group. And because of that, it's allowed me to, to dive deep into scripture and realize that no matter what we talk about, no matter if it's, if it's the political climate of the world, we need to make sure we're pointing everything back to Jesus. I think the difference between groups and, and going to church on Sunday is just that relationship. And those relationships don't only begin or end at church, they, they're outside those church walls as well. And I think a group is just one of those things where you continue to build relationships with people who walk and talk like Christ and continue to help you along your journey as well. Because when you think about it, the people that are around you are investing into your life. And if you care about the food you eat, you care about what you drink, you care about how much you work out, I think you should just as much care about who's investing into your life.